Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. In this video, we are talking about microplastics, why they matter, and how you can avoid them using simple household swaps. Microplastic production and bioaccumulation is on the rise each year. Microplastics are defined by small plastic particles that are five millimeters in size. And then there's even a subset called nanoplastics, which are as small as the width of a human hair. These bioaccumulate in our bodies through ingestion, through our food system or household products, as well as through inhalation, through environment. And as microplastics are more present in our environment, we're seeing them also more present in the human body. We are seeing bioaccumulation in the liver and kidneys, our primary detoxification organs. We're seeing accumulation in the brain, in our reproductive glands, impacting fertility, and even throughout our cardiovascular system. So I think this accumulation is certainly cause for concern here. We actually saw in this study looking at autopsies from 2016 to 2024, a 50% increase of microplastics found in the brains of individuals who were autopsied. And then we also saw about 30 times more in the liver and kidneys. And when looking at also cadavers, we've seen 100% of studied individuals having microplastics present through the aorta and cardiovascular system. In fact, this journal of circulation through the American Heart Association notes that the accumulation of microplastics are cause for concern for cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. Okay, so let's talk about some of the most obvious sources in our household and where we can start with swapping out the plastic. Yes, wherever you can employ defense to protect your body against microplastics is key. So stay tuned for our next release when we talk about how to detox them. But we wanna talk about the main offense here or how you can avoid contamination or exposure in the first place. So the first one that I would think of is our cutting boards. In fact, many people are using still to date plastic cutting boards. And when you're cutting with your knife, of course, on these boards, small amounts of debris are getting into your food. Foods. So swap out your cutting board for a bamboo or a wood cutting board. Another source that might be surprising is tea bags. So we know that most tea bags, though they might look like paper, they actually have a plastic coating on them. And what's concerning is that per cup of tea, we've actually seen in the research 8 to 11 billion microplastics released in a single cup. So swapping out to loose leaf tea, like our naturally nourished blends, this is our flower power green. This is an organic loose leaf tea. And then we are brewing it in glass and stainless to make sure that we're not adding plastic in that brewing process. And we will link this teapot below, but if you don't wanna invest that big, you can always use loose leaf tea in just a stainless steel tea ball or simply strain after brewing and that would eliminate. The next thing we're looking at is the release of PFAs or forever chemicals, which are a subset of microplastics from our nonstick pans. Swapping out to a cast iron or a stainless steel pan would be a recommendation here for non-toxic cooking. And when you're using appropriate amounts of tallow, lard, or grass-fed butter, you don't have to worry about that nonstick. Next up, looking at our food storage containers. So we don't want to be storing food, especially warm foods, like going from you know, the stovetop into the containers for leftovers in plastic because that heat is going to increase the leaching of microplastics. We also never ever want to put plastic in the microwave with our food in it. And we prefer you swap out for stainless steel or glass containers for all of your storage purposes. So we've got these really beautiful caraway um, containers. Ceramic, that's a yeah, ceramic. Yeah, ceramic, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. okay, fancy. Mm -hmm. um, it's a glass lid. Yeah, glass lid and everything and not breakable, so yes. I like that. Um, or something like stainless steel, so this is a bento box that a child could take for lunch because I also see the lunch containers being very problematic with the cutesy pink or blue or purple colors, but they're all plastic, so swap for stainless steel. And then also when thinking about a daily use item, we're looking to our beverage containers. So swap out those to-go coffee cups 
for your own stainless steel tumbler. You can do this at a coffee shop or request a cup for here, like a ceramic mug for your latte. And then when you're drinking your water, we also want you to ensure that you're drinking out of glass or stainless steel. In fact, this study from 2024 showed 240,000 tiny pieces of plastic that are actually released or leached into a single liter of a plastic water bottle. So these are all meaningful swaps for you to reduce that bioaccumulation, which could have a whole gamut of impact on your health. Yes, so we'll go ahead and link all of our favorite microplastic free swap outs below on our Amazon store. Be sure to leave a comment on something you learned or the next swap that you're making in your household. Like this video and subscribe to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel so you never miss one of our bi-weekly releases. Be sure to tune in in two weeks when we share five ways to actually detox microplastics as well. Just another reason to make sure that you subscribe. and stainless steel me mechanism apparatus. Yeah, <laughs> Brewing it in a pot. It's a pot. Yeah.